Hello and welcome everyone. So today we're playing some more standard, but much like the Abzan midrange list, this is a Jun midrange list that is essentially going to be one of about three different versions we're going to try out just to see how it feels. So the first version is going to be playing no wild growth walkers, um, which actually, since we are playing no wild growth walkers, I think I'm going to change maybe a couple sideboard cards. I think I'm going to change these... Uh, Theaters to Moment of Cravings. Don't know if this is right or not. Actually, we'll cut a cry as well. Alright. We're going to try that. I don't know if that's right or not. But anyway, so the idea here is this vis version is not going to be playing Wild Growth Walkers. Uh, however, we'll still be playing Jade Light because I think Jade Light is just still a great uh, three drop to have. Helps find lands. Helps us to kind of filter our draws a little bit. Um, we are playing Midnight Reaper, Chupacabras, Phoenixes. Um, and for this list, I didn't know what I wanted my fives to look like. So I'm having one Doom Whisper, one Ooze, two Angrath, and then we have one Fine Finality, two Vraska, and then three Discovery. We can't cast the Dispersal side, we're not playing any blue lands. But I think it still might be okay. We will uh, we'll definitely find out. Um, sideboard, pretty straightforward. Star for mid-range matchups. Carnage Shatter for control. Center Vines also for control. And other Reclamation, Wilderness Reclamation type decks. Alright, we're going to run through a league. And I'll catch you guys in just a minute. Alright, and we're here on the play. Mm, this is fine. Got two good creatures, missing a red source for the Phoenix, but we're not too far away from the. We're not too far away from it. We have the mana for Jade Light and Be uh, Bedevil, Bedevil. How are you going to pronounce it? Alright, playing against Mono Red. Or at least it looks like we will be. Alright, that means that that Lava Coil is probably going to be looking okay. I have little to no faith in this Jade Light surviving very long. Alright, well, no Pyromancer or anything this turn tells me. Our Jade Light is certainly not going to be long for this world. I think I do want that, to be honest. Wow, really? What the heck? Oh, okay, they're blue-red. I mean, that makes more sense of why they haven't done anything yet. Pre Precision Bolt, okay. Truth Time? Didn't even realize that was a card. Alright, so the nice thing about Midnight Reaper is again if he dies he's gonna draw his card but if they don't deal with him and that we start playing other things they're gonna and they start killing our stuff we're gonna get to draw a lot more cards Drake nope inside okay Red source. Yep, and we're going to attack for three. Alright, so I feel like we're in a pretty good spot here.
Okay. Interesting. Alright, draft turn. Two must be. I think I want to throw these into this and uh, and play Doomspur. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Like, so here they take four when we draw a card. And, like, we have Jade Light in the Graveyard and Midnight Reaper, so we have two creatures we would not mind at all picking up with Find. Plus, Blue Red has a pretty hard time dealing with Doom Whisper. If they go Nib Visit, we have Chup Copper for it. What does this do? Okay, then. Alright. I guess I could have, uh. Whatchamacallit? Got six mana? Okay, so you can't play until next turn. Let's attack for four. Let's just play him back. I kind of wish I would have uh, surveilled to try and find a land there. I think we're fine. I think more importantly, um, putting lethal on the table here rather than holding up the devil for morale is probably better. And again, if they're plays like Niv Mizzet, they can't dive down because they don't have an extra blue source up. But I'm I'm assuming they're just playing the like a like basically the pre con. I'm assuming now they're going to remove a little spell for the egg. Okay, they're dead. Alright, so blue red stuff. I want you. I want you. Um, fine's probably fine. Taking out. Ooze is probably fine taking out. This is tough. Um,. From a jade light, and let's start bringing in duresses. Yeah, maybe let's just do that. I'm not sure what all they're gonna have. They did have a decent amount of creatures, it looked like. Um, what's a hand? Um, I think because they're more of a controlling deck, it looks like we'll keep this. Perfect. 
Alright, so I guess this was a great play on turn two. And like, this is the idea, right? Like, we want to play this on two into something like this on three. Actually, I'm going to kill this instead. Like, unlike last game, we actually have Brickhaling Phoenix Mana for turn four. Dragonauts. Sorcery spell. Okay. So I think a kill is pretty quick, but. Phoenix can block it pretty well, so. What's the matter Phoenix doesn't get lava cold until you are out of existence? What is this? Okay, just a weak little Drake. Time for one. No? Okay. Alright, well. Let's attack for three. If they double block and kill my thing, that's fine. This deck curving out and doing its thing just feels really good. What is this? Rouse static caster, trample and rouse task attacks if you control a Rouse planeswalker, Rouse static caster, spell zero for each card in your hand. Okay then. Okay. Daylight. Uh, like that. Discover. Top. Top. Attack for three. Again, if they want to throw a bunch of stuff in front of it, I'm fine with that. I guess it can block this thing. So I guess that's a plus to it. Another one. Actually, no, let's block you there. Yep, resolves. Get it back. Attack with everybody. Leaves up contempt for us, or it leaves up adapting it, whichever we choose. Or we could even bedevil something if we need to. deck on the ground level like this just feels so good but like obviously like we're playing it's like essentially like a pre-con <clears throat> so it's 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 hard to like re reasonably say how good what our opponent's doing is G 
Choosing to exile that here might be a little aggressive. But we're just going to attack with everybody. Or we're not. that yep search for a Rao planeswalker okay and they just concede okay all right well that was a pretty easy game one nice little warm-up uh, you got to see what the deck did see the potential it has um, yeah we'll catch you guys for the next round all right on the draw here for round number two so that sounds a little weird, but we can cast our Bedevil, we can cast everything except Jade Light Ranger in our deck. I think we keep it. Gates. Yikes. That means it's been our Abra's probably going to be drawing a lot of cards. Which is fine. Yep, definitely Gates. If there's any doubt whatsoever in my mind whether my opponent's playing gates or not, that is all completely gone. Yeah, unfortunately for me here, Bed Evil doesn't do a whole lot against them since they're mostly enchantment based. Yep, circuitous route. Yeah, they got all of their colors. <sighs> nope, they're the Nexus deck. Alright. That is... It's very annoying. Alright, so Cinder Vines for sure comes in here. They're 100% the Nexus deck. Nexus Gates or whatever. So sideboard duresses. Cinder Vines. Securitus Roots. You can definitely start Nexusing me now. Yeah, I'm 7 mana. If you watch any of my other videos, I usually make the Nexus decks show them consistently return to that loop a couple times before I concede. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Yep. Which may draw in four cards here. Makes me feel like they, it's hard not for them to not have it. Alright, one more time. Show me one more time. There's like zero percent chance they don't have it. Mm hmm. all I wanted so these can come out those can come out 
guess these eight come in. Let's bring back in a chupacabra. So, get out of here. You're at two. So are you. Actually, yeah, you can be at six. Alright, let's try this. <clears throat> Dresses and center vines are great here. Yikes. We got a mulligan it. Alright, well, I mean... We want to draw our sideboard cards. All right, let's see. We can't get to blazes this turn. Let's add a red source. Ram. Yep, get breaker rams pretty good. All right, let's. We'll keep it. It's. It's a little early for it, but it's still very playable. Yep, take the damage from the roots. Yep, make it a 6-6. Six, six. Yep, I'll take 6. Nope. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. I can see Guild Summit. Nope, Gates of Blaze. Yep, seven me down to five. All right. Sure. Oh, sheesh. Alright, well, big ass crisis is going to be hard to deal with, but we can do it. Unfortunately, I would like to keep my Vrask around, but I don't think I can afford to. If they have another Gates of Blaze or something like that. Well, I guess it wouldn't have been big enough to survive it, so I guess that was silly. Yeah, I guess I could have just block, kept blocking it. Hmm. Yep. Drawing one. Jesus, drawing six cards. Yep. Gate breaker. Attempt. Carney T. If they have Gates of Blaze, they win. Pretty simple here. I could have popped this to try and stop them from drawing more cards, but. Alright. Cool. 
See you for the next round. All right, on the play here for round number three. All right, I mean, if we draw a land, this hand's great. We do have castable spells and removal, so a good mix of things. All right, so some kind of blue-black deck, so probably Esper. Yuck. It's about the last card I wanted to draw. That is about as far from a land as you can get in this deck. All right, this is not going to be a fun matchup. I can already feel it. Well, at least we did draw the land, though. I feel like main deck cry the carnarium, that would be pretty sad. That scared me for a second. Jade Light on top, Jade Light to the graveyard. Find on top, alright. Land? Booyah. Exile that baby. And five, yeah. Our hand's still pretty good here. Choops. No, crisis, okay. Right, gain one, draw one. Oh, 100% trade. Yep, absolutely. Draw me a card. No, oh, yeah, I'll Jade Light. Uh, I got a graveyard because I don't have another land. Yeah, it sucks because I don't have another black source, but. Maybe the trade there wasn't the best because they can just pick it up with find. Uh, yeah, that feels bad. Let's see, grab another one. Go to four. Discovery. Oof. One, two, three, four. Do I want both lands? I think I want both lands. As weird as that is. Finality. Yep. That's totally fine by me. <laughs> Maybe I should just put lethal into play, but I miscounted my lands. I didn't realize I had five mana. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. I mean, I couldn't quite mute my mic in time. I should have counted it because I knew I had um, five mana to play things that turn. Here's a Krasis. Mm, Vivian, okay. Even better. Worse? There's a Krasis. 
right, incubation druid. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. First, let's go here. See what we hit. Put that on top. Then let's go play that. Play this. Make a token. So he's going to gain three, four, five. So he's going to gain two life. Putting him back to four. Hmm. Although that doesn't even work because I can just put him to one. Okay. Yep. That felt pretty good. Krasis is great though. So Krasis is pretty scary in this matchup. Alright. So the Gogari mid range matchup. It's like the only four cards I really want in. Honestly, the only cards I really want to take out are like the Ooze. Well, I guess Ooze maybe can stretch. Maybe trim an Ooze and a Jade Light. Growth Chamber and maybe like this. Yeah, maybe. Actually, you know what? Because I could have a bunch of Raska Contempts, I think I'd rather have like this. Because I don't think Phoenix is a great. Maybe Phoenix is just not good. Maybe, maybe let's try that. Let's try it without Phoenixes. Let's see how it goes for this matchup specifically. Nope. I think it's actually this one has 24 lands, so that's, yeah, so that's like even more likely to happen. Yuck. No. At least this hand's actually decent. I don't necessarily want to just keep the fourth one on top. Nice. We're going to curve out pretty nicely here, it looks like. Or at least we could. Yep. Alright, now the land of their hand. We're going to go Growth Chamber Guardian here. We will not trade if they offer it. Well, 100% just take the damage. Jade Light. No, oh, Midnight. Okay. 100% going to kill a Midnight Reaper, I think. Yeah, I think we're just going to exile the Midnight Reaper. I'd like to have drawn a land there, but it's alright, because we couldn't have played it anyway. Not yet. Alright, another branch walker. Another land to hand. I'm assuming you're gonna play it. Yep. Oh jeez. Yep, I'll take two. All right, Dad, come on. All right, awkward enough, I really want to hit lands. Thank you, deck. All right, unfortunately, uh, I don't really like the idea of having to trade Jade Light with something, but... It's quite possibly what we're getting to. All right, so I know one of the cards in their hand still. Vivian? Yep, she's dead. Come on, land. Find a land. Dang. 
Okay. Alright. Oh, I would love to be able to play that, but we are so far away from that, it's unbelievable. And we don't want her to get another activation with Vivian. She's going to kill Vivian. So, of course, unfortunately, most likely means that our Growth Chamber Guardian is going to die this turn. But that's okay. Three unknown. Yep, Choops. Yep. Kill Growth Chamber Guardian. Yep. I do want to try to minimize the amount of damage I'm taking. Alright. I know one of the two, one of the three cards in your hand. Land. Alright, nice. And then let's go ahead and just adapt it right away. Alright. Good cards. Crisis here would be pretty much game ending. Blip. That's pretty bad too. Yep. That's actually worse than Chupacabra. Alright, let's exile you, play you. Unfortunately, even with this, we're going to go to two, and then we have to draw an untapped land to try and survive. Oh, boy. I'm just curving exactly into a bunch of branch walkers, which is so good for them. No crisis, please no crisis, please no crisis, please no crisis. Damn it, crisis. Shit. Yeah, I'm just super dead here. Yeah. Alright, we're done. See, is this a matchup I want cry? I don't think it is. No, I don't think so. I think we're fine with what we have. Nope. Alright, I'll keep it. Should be okay. I mean, fine, so it's gonna be one of our better cards in this deck. In this matchup. Uh, Midnight Reaper is pretty important for us to be getting online. I'd like to, from this point, just draw, start drawing lands. Alright, that's a pretty good turn to play. Nice. Sorry, there's a land. So we're pretty happy about that. Alright, well. That is nice because it will draw me a card. But we're wrong, it's not a card I'm very excited about drawing. Alright. I'm actually going to kill the Lino War Elf. Because I'm hoping taking them off that mana will slow them down a bit. 
I might be wrong, and it might not have been worth it. It might have been better just to kill the Chupacabra, but... Oh, Chupacabra doesn't have much value to me. Play Min Rider Burr. Line off, okay. No land, no land, no land, no land, no land, no land. No land, no land. Dang it, man, no land. Alright. Draw for turn, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think I want to Angrath. Start up sicking on them. Iron's actually pretty good right now. Alright, got rid of a house taker, nice. Iron's actually pretty good. It will be able to pressure our Angrath with that J with the Merfolk branch walker. Alright, Vivian. Alright, land. Nice. Alright, so unfortunately killing the elf didn't do anything for me. Yep. Hmm. Yep, discard your hinterland harbor. Let's discover... Yeah, I'm gonna put you on top because I want to draw you. And I'm gonna let you have one more activation with a Vivian. Just because I don't want to lose my Angrath next turn for sure. Like, if you have Vraska's Contempt, I can't do much about that. Come on, something crappy. Alright, Swamp's pretty crappy. No Contempt, no Contempt. What do you got? Six? Okay, Crace is f uh, It's not the end of the world. Alright, so... Let's kill her. Take the crisis. And then let's find ourselves choops and Yeah, let's take the ooze, I guess. Alright, so I got five cards, we got four cards. Maybe we should have taken the... Yeah, no, we're not going to play that. Maybe we should have shown up game. I'm not feeling like playing it. Alright, shocking it in. This feels suspiciously an awful lot like a Vraska's Contempt. Alright, nice. Hygienic Ooze. Triggers. Yep, it's dying. Yep, it's dying. Oh, cast down. Okay, that's that's actually better. I mean, you don't know that I don't have any more uh, <clears throat> binds. Ooh, actually, that's great. We just gotta drop. Cr dr we just got to dodge Crisis, and we'll be in. A, we'll be in okay shape. All right. Well, that's a good one.
Yep, just gotta dodge Krasis and I feel like we'll be okay. Invoke the devil for any planeswalker. And then both these are answers for other things. Hmm. What they pick up with find? Oof, crisis and choops. This is bad. All right, well. So they're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they're going to gain four life, draw four cards. Eesh, it's a lot. Oh, and really? What? Okay, you just you just drew four cards, but okay. All right. Well, we were gonna be drawing much removal, so I guess we would have been in pretty good shape there. They'd have a hard time dealing with Carnage Tyrant. All right, guys, we're gonna. Uh, what does that make us? Two zero. -oh? oh, two and one. Okay, we'll catch you guys for the next round. In just a minute. Alright, this hand's a little awkward. We have no black source for our Midnight Reaper. But we can cast our other spells. If they're a control deck, we're dead. If they're not, we're okay. Mono Red. This hand's actually pretty good against Mono Red. Black source? Boom! Midnight Reaper's actually not great against Mono Red. Just because he does block, but he also costs us life. Ooh, okay, there's another, another mid-range deck. I like it. I can dig. Get me for two. Jade Light. Yep, no surprise there. Land, land. Nope, growth chamber guardian. Yep, what you keep? Which here, honestly, I might trade with the jade light. Just depends. Yeah, you know what? I'll trade with the Jade Light. It'll draw me a card. Nice. The Jade Light. Yeesh. Yuck. Green Red Monsters is going to be a problem. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of afraid they might be the better mid-range deck. Yeah, that this is bad. The fact they were able to wait till turn five to do both is very bothering.
All right, let's pass turn. Yep. Yep, adapt him. Oh, grab another one. Okay, yes. Grab another one of my own. Alright, now here's the real question. I think it's worth it. And yes, grab another one of himself, which is actually kind of cool because I did not realize it was going to do that, but I forgot because it's just any time counters you put on him. So this is actually, this is actually pretty nice. And honestly, if this elemental dies, that sucks, but like, <laughs> okay, all right, um, that felt, that was pretty nice, all right. Um, so one thing I've noticed so far is I want more finds. In this specific version, I really feel like I want more find. Um, maybe even just over like an Angrath or something. All right, but anyway, so against the monsters matchup, I think I need to bring in Star of Extinction and Carnage Tyrants. Uh, I think the I think Phoenix is medium. I think you can get cut. No, I don't think I want to cut you. I'll cut the phoenixes again. Let's see. Yeah, alright. Yeah, I, I really like Find Finality. I think it needs to be a couple more copies of it. <laughs> Definitely, definitely think it could be a couple more copy, copies. Um, I think this hand's okay because we have uh, discovery on turn whatever. Alright. The fact that we drew another lands for, or another removal spell slash playable card's pretty nice. Alright, well, because I drew a land, I am just going to Lava Coil him. Spellbreaker. Yep. And choosing Haste. Alright, I'll take three. Yuck. Alright, that's good. I didn't I really didn't want to get rid of the contempt because Contempt's pretty good against their deck. Yeah, f case in point. But I definitely felt like I needed to um Nice. Let's exile this while we can. And yes, I know this doesn't give everything else hex proof, but I'd like to just get it off the table now while I have the chance to. Alright, I'm assuming I'm getting dragoned here for seven. Yep. Yep, it's dragging me for seven. Alright, tapped. Choops, kill you. All right. Land, land, nice. 
And it's also good for them because they just draw they just completely miss. Alright, that's fine. Okay. So believe it or not. Mangrath. Gain control spellbreaker. Attack you for three. And pass. Alright, we could be in trouble here or we could not. We'll see. Right, Branch Walker. Vivian on top. Blocks. You got a second one? It's tapped. Uh, I'd so much rather pick up stuff, but I gotta not die next turn, so. Yeah, play Vivian. Okay. Draw for turn. You know, exile something. Tapped. Carnage Tyrant. Come on, baby, stabilize it too. Ah, oh, we're dead. All right. Okay, so do we want to maybe bring in phoenixes for that? No, I don't think so. I think we're fine with where we are. I think the problem is they just got a little too far ahead of us there, and we were unable to catch up. And by the time we did kind of close things out, we were just way too low. Um... <laughs> Riot's just so powerful, man. Oh my gosh. Riot's super strong. Alright, I will play first. Um, This hand seems okay. I think we can keep it. Unfortunately, they keep on 7 as well. Alright, that's pretty good. Graveyard. Uh, we'll keep that card. Not a big fan of... I think I'm cutting the Biogenic Oozes, too. This have not been very impressive. Lava Coil. Dang it. Dang it, and dang it. Well, I mean, it is a 4-3 at least, but unfortunately we can't stop them from getting to their other Growth Chamber Guardians. Yeah, pump him. We trade. Come on, deck land. Please land, deck, please. Uh, yeah, alright, we're probably dead.
Do I want to kill this or do I want to kill what he plays with? Plays next turn. <sighs> Let's wait and see what he plays. Just growth chamber. Yep. Let's go grab another one. What I exit out? That was dumb. Yeah, this whole not uh, not drawn lands thing really starting to piss me off. Yep. Yes. Really? That's so annoying. Uh, it's so freaking annoying. Well, let's, I guess, lava coil here. play you there. The part that pisses me off the most is this card's not even, like, I don't know why you'd keep it in. This card's not that good. Yep. We're dead. Feel pretty dead. I feel pretty dead. Yep. Yeah, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're... Uh yeah, down to six. What a shocker. We finally drew a land, but it's probably way too late. Yep. Five me. I guess that technically keeps us alive. No, it doesn't. Yep. We just uh, tapped wrong and lost ourselves the game. Alright. That's a pretty tough one anyway. Um, we were probably just... Yeah, this, the fact they got us here with this just is the reason we lost there. Um, I think we're still probably pretty dead even if we tapped right here to kill this. We go to combat, we block. We got a block here. We go to one. Yeah, we just not draw on lands, and then this combat trick killed us. I don't know why this card's still in his deck. But, you know, went well that time, I guess. All right, I'll catch you for the next round in just a second. All right, here we are on the draw for round number five. Trying to get ourselves a win to be three and two. Um, We'll keep it. All right, green, white. Now it's interesting. Do we want to play Growth Chamber Guardian next turn, or do we want to actually play uh, Discovery? 
I kind of want to play Growth Chamber to try and um, get a little aggressive with it. At the same time, if they're playing Bant, that's probably not necessarily great. But if they're playing just like Green White, it'll probably be fine. Alright, I do want to just go Growth Chamber Guardian here. If I have to, we can next turn play out um, Discovery. My big thing is, we still have a land for next turn. Which, while I'd really like to draw a green source next turn so we can Jade Light. If we don't, we at least can still Discovery, try and find another land. Alright, so they are banned. We will shock it for representation. All right, let's see. Hmm. Do I want a Phoenix? I don't think I do. I think I gotta take this land even though it's not the land I want. Again, I want a green land, but I think I just I can't be picky. Alright, anticipate tells me it's most likely gonna be Bant uh fog. Bant, uh, Nexus, Bant Reclamation, Bant Fog, whatever you want to call it, Bant Turbo Fog. Yep. That's absolutely what it is. Alright, well that's, uh, that's pretty good. Probably getting countered here. No, okay. Graveyard. Graveyard. Alright, well. Got six power on board. I do not have a good feeling about this. Chemist Insight. Yeah, we're, we're probably done here already. Yep, game over. Now they can just pretty easily combo off without even thinking about it. Just a casual 10 mana. Again, same deal as before. I'm going to make them find it a couple times before I concede. Yeah. All right. We'll call it there. They're gonna. They have this still to cast, and yeah, we'll just move on. I don't think you guys are gonna enjoy sitting there watching it, and I'm not gonna enjoy sitting here watching it. So. Let's bring in these six, cut you, cut 
you and you. Actually, no, that's right. We cut you. Cut like that. Maybe even just like that, maybe. Mm, you know what? Actually, I think because uh, this version might very well have to fairy, so I don't want to take out all my kill planes, kill target planeswalker cards. Let's take out all of those. Let's take out the bedevils. We'll leave in the Vraskus contempts. All right, we're on the play. Sounds fine. I mean, it doesn't have any sideboard cards, but it's probably wrong to keep it. But I think his hand's solid enough that we need to keep. Certainly, there's a pretty good argument for just uh, um, what's what I'm looking for. For uh, mulliganing this hand because there are no sideboard cards in it. I could see that too, so. Mm -hmm. Also, I know they have a land because they, they kept a card on top with Search for Isconta. No way they didn't have the land. Um, yeah, I was really hoping to draw Cinder Vines by now. Although, if we draw Cinder Vines, we can still play it next turn, you know. Come on, deck one time. No white sources, they can't settle us. Yuck. Yep. This way, this match is so just disgusting. Like, no, let's. I mean, if we can just fight what's in their hand, then we might have a chance to get out of this. Let's not have Autumn for. If they see game one, then I don't would have been any good against. Let's just assume captive audience. Mm hmm. Another wilderness reclamation. Oh, crisis. Okay.
Another root snare? Oh, of course you've got another one. All right, well, that's pretty good. Another wilderness reclamation. Really have an X to fate. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. And like unfortunately, like man, it's not an issue. They have plenty of it. Who am I kidding? They're just going to find a bunch of Nexus of Fates and win. Yeah, you get more looks with search. Yep, there's a Nexus of Fate. Oh boy. Like honestly, Nexus of Fate's like not one of the things I really care too much about in the format. Like it's it's a thing that's there. Like Wilderness Reclamation and it are annoying together, but you know. What can you do? Like that's just that's that's the way magic is right now. Like, I am much more bothered by the fact that Red Deck has its own one-mana draw, too. Alright, Shocking in Temple Garden. Because you need the extra mana. Yep. It's freaking laughable. Alright, we're done. Alright, so we went two and three. Um, to be fair, uh, this loss right here was a really close one. Came down to the wire. Um, and yeah, Nexus probably shouldn't have kept that hand. I mean, the hand was pretty good. They just happened to have two root snares in their last, like, four cards in their hand. So, tough matchups, but I still feel like the deck did pretty well. Um, so, things I've noticed. I definitely want more finds. Want to get rid of you. For sure. But I do think Ooze definitely want to get rid of Probably don't need as many contempts because we have the bed evils. Alright, so I definitely think. Uh, so, Ooze out. Another Doom Whisper in because he's pretty good. What was in the sideboard I felt like we needed? I don't remember what it was. Yeah, um, then we can probably cut this for another, for one more find. Because find just felt great. 
This card just felt amazing. Uh, contempts are good, but I don't think we need a lot of them. Oh, especially not when we have bad evil. Oh, and crushing canopies in the sideboard. Not crushing canopies. I don't need crushing canopies. What was it? Maybe it was crushing canopies. Maybe I was thinking crushing canopies for some reason. But we have cinder vines, so we're good there. Yeah. But anyway, so uh, as far as the first attempt at reverse version went, um, I think it went pretty good. Again, this deck's much more built around the idea of being it, playing more around this stuff. Phoenix, Doom Whisper, Angrath, Vraska. More of, kind of almost more of a control deck, but still being a mid-range deck. Um, we will try another version after this. Um, I do like this version a lot. It did a lot of things I really liked. And hopefully, hopefully, we can tune it and get it to be a little bit more functional. Um, Midnight Reaper was great. Growth Chamber Guardian was great. Discovery was even fine. Phoenix was actually really good. There was a couple times we wanted to take it out, but still fine. So, all right. With that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more videos just like this one, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell next to the subscribe button, and you'll get notifications anytime we go and post a new video. Um, and if you guys did enjoy this, please share it on your social media, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, I guess not Instagram, that doesn't work, but Facebook, Twitter, whatever you guys use, whatever other social media is out there, um, I would really appreciate it, it would really help me out a lot, and I hope you guys did enjoy this video, thank you for tuning in, I will catch you guys next time.